Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be talking about how to get the parameters out of a request query string in a URL. So this is going to be in Flask. Uh, typically in Flask you can build a clean URL with your parameters, but sometimes you just want a traditional query string for whatever reason. Uh, query strings are easy to work with, they're just separated by um, ampersands that have the key on the left followed by an equal sign and the value on the right. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to extract those so you can use them somewhere in your application. So let me get started here. Let me do the typical Flask setup. So from Flask, import Flask, and then app is Flask. Oops, underscore name. I'll skip the route for now. If name, I'm hitting the wrong key. All right. If name is main, then app.run, and I'll put it in debug mode. All right, so for the route, I'll call this params, and the function will be named params as well. So I'm going to return some string that I haven't specified yet. So to get the parameters out of the query string, I'll need to use the requests module I'll import it and I'm gonna have two arguments when I create this query string argument one and argument two so to get them I just simply need to call requests dot args which is a dictionary with all of the um, parameters in the query string so the first one will be called arg1 and the second one will be called arg2. So all I want to do is display arg1 and arg2. So arg1 and then arg1 and then I'll say arg2. All right. So all this is going to do is it's going to take in a couple of parameters and display them in the return. So let me start the server. Uh, Parameters.py, yeah. And then my params, I'll have arg1 equal to Anthony. And then I'll have arg2 equal to pretty printed. We run it and we see here that arg1 is Anthony and arg2 is pretty printed. If I change this to something else like flask, we see flask is now called. Right. So this is pretty simple. Uh, YouTube or Python, doesn't really matter. You see I can easily extract these uh, values from the query string that I built here on parameters. And it doesn't require me passing in any parameters here because they are in the query string. So request takes care of those instead of the uh, parameters being passed into the function here. So that's pretty simple. So if you ever want to use a query string and you need to get the parameters out of the query string, this is how you would do it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's very similar to how you get the data out of a form if uh, someone submitted a form and it was on one of your endpoints. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, just leave a question down in the comment below and I'll get to it. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.